Oh, hello. Hey, Hi. everybody. Hey. I'm Shannon. And I'm Annie. We are Girls Interrupted. The movie podcast. The, ooh, I like it. The film podcast. <laughs> when do you choose Mopo. to use the word movie versus film? Um, Because the British, the, the English never say uh, movie. That is our word. Interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I find my, I, I kind of do like a snooty level type thing. Oh, when you're elevated. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like if it's like, if I see it at an Angelica or something, I'm yeah, like, it's a film. a film. Rugrats the film, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Rugrats soundtrack. Incredible. Um, Wait, amazing. in England. Huh. In, in England, England, was it Rugrats the film? They only say film. They only say like they. They don't say like flick or something. Movie. Well, maybe they say flick, but I mean, uh, they pretty much movie. they don't say movie is what I meant. I guess. Huh. The cinema. That's where you go. You don't go to the movie. The theater. talkies. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, guys, we are doing Skate Kitchen today, which. Okay, I'm a control freak. Annie knows this. You guys. You don't really know me that well, but I'm a control freak, so I usually <laughs> pre-screen the movies before we wa- before I suggest them. I had never seen this movie bef- movie before. That's bold. I'm That's bold of Shannon. She's a Virgo, guys. Say I loved it. Mm-hmm. So good. I've only seen it the one time, but I took notes. But um, I will be watching it again. It's on Hulu, you guys. Just came out. Yeah, it's year, included with eighteen. The- Hulu subscription. Go and see nice. it before you listen to us spoil the whole movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go watch Go it and first watch and then it. listen it's, to the um, girls skating. Girls skating. It like uh, did you did you ever skateboard growing up, Shannon? Okay, so. <laughs> whoa, whoa! The tone just shifted. <laughs> Are we about to like go down dark? So a friend who tried to teach me how to skate once said, skating is falling. You have to love, you have to love falling. I hate falling. (laughs) But skating looks so cool and I wish I could do what they were doing because it looked rad and it looks euphorically fun. My body could do that, but I'm a little bottom heavy. I need to see some bottom heavy girls doing it. But, you know, I also don't have a lot of coordination. Um, And I'm like Bambi. (laughs) <laughs> you're like a newborn a newborn cult. yeah pretty much yeah but i love the fashion i love the fashion of like skating especially on the girls how it's like it's like the clothes are fitted but they're not yes. tight because they need to be able to move so it's right. like they look like work pants almost but they're like fitted to their bodies and it looks so cool and it's like functional and you ca- but the, and the thing that i love about it pockets because i totally agree like I love their style, but it, but it's also I, I like that it's almost like untouchable. Like, you kind of can't dress like that unless you are a real skater. Like Does that make sense? Be, what yeah, I'm trying to say? And they, and they, it's like it's authentic, or you are a poser. Especially like okay, which so I like hearing like, that word again. There's like varieties of it because like the the girl with the long blonde hair. You heard that, didn't you? The girl with the long blonde hair has a. I don't know. How you see, Maybe Shannon. We're talking, about, we're talking about how you shouldn't do it. No, I'm doing it. <laughs> Can I still hear you though? Can you hear me? No, I can't hear you if I do that. I'm sorry. Well, it's okay. We'll just have to hear how popular you are. I don't want to be popular. She's getting emails, guys. Okay, so um, yeah, it's what like it's saying? varied. So the girl with the blonde hair, because hers is like kind of, she kind of looks like she's on Saved by the Bell. Uh, the girl with the long blonde hair. Her name is Nina, yes. Nina Moran, I think. Nina. Moran, yes. But then, like, uh, the main girl, Rachel Rachel Vinberg, like, hers is, like, and I really hope it's not Rachelle. Rachel Vinberg, hers is, like, super office chic. I don't know. <laughs> not chic. Maybe, like, yeah, office cool. She was stunning, though. Casual Friday. Right? Casual Friday, but, like, on their way to a, a show, a music performance yeah like they're good they, they like they have their like fun day outfit and then they yeah. can also like go it's like they're chinos they just look cute all the time <laughs> they're chinos but make it fashion you know like exactly <laughs> dickies she probably has dickies um <laughs> skate kitchen came out 2018 it's got an 89 percent on rotten tomatoes that's very high wow for a most this movie doesn't really pass the inverse beckdale test right 
It almost doesn't. I mean, so the, the regular Empress? Bechdel test is is women have to talk to each other about non not about men, right? That's the Bechdel yeah. test. Okay, this is the reverse. So like two men talking to each other about something that's not about women that barely happens. And this and what are you saying about this one? That two men barely talk to each other about oh. things that are not about women. So it doesn't oh, really pass see. the inverse. Hmm. Bechdel test, which is a sign of a good movie to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, totally. <laughs> yes! Girls! Okay, so directed by Crystal Moselle, um, written by uh, Jennifer Silverman, Crystal Moselle, and Asilan Uraldi. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Three um, ladies. I assume. I think that last name is 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 a woman, but I'm not I'm not sure. It could be. Presumably three women. Yes. Kind of um, like. At least two. So <laughs> um la 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 cast is Rachel Vinberg, who is twenty right now. So Oh, so she was nineteen, maybe or yeah. maybe even eighteen when she shot this. Yes. And she is Colombian, and the character, her mom, was kind of based off of her mom. So she's kind of living her her memoir. She's kind of acting her memoir out of this Do movie. Do you watch Orange is of the New Of course, Black? yes. And oh, I was okay, like, yeah. Alayla, is that you? <laughs> yeah. Dasha's mom? Yes. If y'all are Orange is the New Black fans, one of the actresses, yes. please. Are Elizabeth Rodriguez. Mom. Elizabeth Rodriguez. I was like, oh. And actually, I was not expecting really Jaden Smith at all. I didn't know that he was... In this at all? Did you? I mean, oh, did you? I, I only did because and you, he's on the he's on the poster. I mean, the poster they're all so small. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I was looking at my phone. I knew just because of the poster. Okay, yeah, I had they, no idea. And I mean, like, it takes like thirty <laughs> minutes for him to come in. I was like, oh, that's uh, that's true. how old? How old is he? That sounds so creepy. But he's got to be. I uh, yeah, I'm facetiming you on my phone, so I can't look up. <laughs> How old he is. I guess that's creepy. Maybe cut this out. I just think he's like a very handsome young man. Oh no, all. he's adorable in this movie. Okay, cool. Oh <laughs> Jaden Smith is he's got a, I'm guessing twenty three. What do you think? What do you think? He's very before talented it, too. Before it before he's like he's, he's really Okay, ew. Oh yeah, god, I feel so weird. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, never mind. Okay, um, never mind. Well, I mean no, he, we we can we just we can just say he's a, he's going to grow up. Whoa, what happened? What is going on? Do you hear that? It sounds like AOL dial-up. What? Get off the phone, Dad. I'm on the computer. That's my phone for some reason? What is happening? (laughs) E.T. Um, I'm going to hang up my phone real quick. Okay. That was really strange. It did sound like AOL dial up. <laughs> or like aliens are trying to communicate with us. Oh, God. I'm calling you back. Okay. Oop. Wait, how do we... Mute. Okay, mute. 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 That was so mute. strange. Mute. Mute. Okay, wait, what were we saying now? Oh, and he's, he's cute, very talented. Even though we're too old to say so, he's cute. And I like his hair. Um, and he's very talented. And I didn't, Agree know, with me. I didn't know he could skateboard. Yeah, he's very talented. Thank you. I didn't know you could um, I know. Hidden talent. Mm. So, yeah. Jane Smith <laughs> plays Devin. Rachel Vinberg plays Camille. Sorry. Elizabeth Rodriguez was Camille's mom. Uh, Cabrina Adams plays Rudy. She was the girl with the camera. Um, Ardelia Lovelace plays Janae. That was the friend whose house she stayed over at the Afro. Um, the one with the camera, were you saying, like, is she in, some, is she in other stuff? Oh, she like okay. she holds the camera in the uh, in the movie. She's the girl who's always like filming them. Right, but your tone kind of made it sound like I'm supposed to know who that is. She's a girl with the camera. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, uh, I just meant like from other projects. Or, okay, sorry. Never mind. Um, <laughs> Dee Dee Lovelace is Indigo. They have the same last name. I wonder if that's made up or they're related. I didn't look that up. Sorry. Um, hmm. She's Indigo, the girl with the braids. That means I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Nina oh, Moran is. Did she have the blonde eyebrows and then sometimes yeah, the green eyebrows? Yeah. 
I really liked that look. Yes, she was she was doing it. Nina Moran is Kurt, uh, the girl with the long blonde hair who looks like she's on Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Her outfit. Yeah. So the way that Crystal found these girls was she heard them talking about tampons on the subway. And <laughs> she was like, I'm going to make a movie about you. Well, first she wanted them to be on a Mew Mew short film, a short film for Mew Mew. Mew Mew? Mew Mew. Oh, interesting. Mew Mew. Sorry. Um, and then she was like, there's a movie here. There's a movie here. And she she originally thought that she was like gravitated towards uh, Nina Moran, the girl who plays Kurt with the long hair with the gravelly voice. Mm-hmm. She, ori- she originally got to her. I could see that because she's like super charismatic. Like you can see that off the screen. You could see that oh, off the totally. screen, I guess. But then yeah. she was like kind of drawn to Rach- Rach- Rachel because she had a interesting quietness about her. She really does. And something about pain. Something about pain. Um, something about pain. And then, <laughs> so these girls were Instagram, they had a big Instagram following following because of their skating, and Jaden actually reached out to Ra- Rachel, just like saying, like, I like what you're doing, basically cool. just the skating, and then she brought him into the movie. Wow. Yeah. Instagram wow. is out here changing lives, like. That's really cool. Okay. Yeah, go follow them. Skate Kitchen is actually their Instagram handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a I real a couple girl group. Cool clicks like that. Like, um, yeah. Um, distributed <laughs> by Magnolia Pictures and the box office uh, brought in 268000 So, I mean, it seems like more of a festival movie. So, I don't remember seeing it anywhere. Yeah, no. The When you sent me that text was the first time I'd heard of it. But it's so good, you guys. Like, mid-90s really was everywhere. Good. This was a much... I mean, to compare it next to mid-90s, they're kind of trying to do similar things. And this movie did it way better. Like, we're gonna... Eons better. Sorry. We're gonna Jenna. get into oh. it, but... And I don't have any budget information, but I'm sure their budget was much cheaper. But the way that they did this, it... <laughs> it also really mirrors kids, too. Like, <laughs> but... Um, kids is not a skateboard movie. Kids is not a skateboard no. movie. No... It's not. It's just it about just kids has with skaters. a lot of free time on their hands. It has skaters and shots where they're in the streets and um, a crack den where they hang out. I don't know. Like, what is that? What do you call that? <laughs> Scary apartment where they all hang out? That seems to yeah. be the, the common theme yeah. of all these three movies. <laughs> <laughs> a, pl- a place where my unfortunate, like, immediate thought is my mom would not let me go to that. <laughs> I've totally been to one of those for parties, you know I mean? like houses, like, uh, when you were that age, the bathrooms, the bathrooms. No, like at this grown age right now. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. No, totally. I now, still do yeah. some dumb shit. I still do some dumb shit. Or even and, in college we did. Uh, yeah. Okay. So skate kitchen. Remember, watch it before we start talking about it because I'm not holding back. Um, so they're at a long Island skate park and it's just Camille by herself and it's super desolate and suburban, I put. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say thanks. I had it on to Shannon. No. Shannon. <laughs> meow. Um. Gonna... And I wrote down skaters dress so cool. I've already talked about that. <laughs> yes. Um. It's like effortless. It just. It doesn't look like they're trying. It, they're just. They're just doing it. Um. So we've got skating <laughs> shots with the sun flare, and she falls and she hurts her crotch and she's bleeding. Um, oh god that looks so painful I hurt myself there when riding a bike once <laughs> like I missed the pedal that's I was an trying SVU to stand that's episode <laughs> oh fuck it hurts so fucking bad no um it hurts when girls hit their coochie too okay I know like you know like how yeah it's not just balls okay <laughs> you tell me <laughs> So she goes into dro- she goes to the doctors. She's at the emergency room, and then my first thought was like, "Wait, how old is she?" Because I was like, "Why is she there?" But where's her mom? Like, I still barely go to the doctor without my mom. I guess I do, but um, at eighteen, I feel like I'm with my mom still to the doctors. Because eighteen, I was definitely still on the insurance. <laughs> so like, who has all that? Who's going to answer all these questions? Who's going to talk to the doctor? Because I don't want to. Um, <laughs> she goes yeah. home. She's on IG. Um, and then we see the mom from Orange is the New Black being very motherly. Like she's, this is not her character in Orange is the, Orange is the New Black at all because. No. <laughs> because Aaliyah did not care about yeah. anything. <laughs> um, no. She had to get 
stitches, and her mom doesn't want her to skate anymore because she doesn't want her to be um, infertile, which, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, that was an interesting reason. Yeah. But I think I she, mean, she I mean, did I, that was kind of this one. Sh- I yeah, don't, I don't she, know how delicate. I, that I feel area like is. she just doesn't want her to get her period. Yeah. How do you feel? Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait on it. Uh, so I'm I'm just curious. Hmm. And then that Where was, was like, that yes, from? we're talking in Spanish because at first I didn't know where to play i didn't really assign her to a race i guess the the main girl and then the mom like solidified it and then she and then we get spanish too i was like oh yes yes we're going there we're fully doing this this is like we don't ever get to see this right yeah (laughs) yeah 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 yeah. latina skating and like if anything this movie like there's one white girl if, if anything she's the token white girl right and that's what i was just about to say yeah like, there's like literally just one caucasian character yes. which is nice yes okay so i'm so excited um she goes home she finds an all-girl skate sesh like a like a poster on instagram and she waits for her mom to leave and then she goes to this new york skate park and it's nothing but dudes <laughs> it's sausage 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 city so we're, sausage we're failing me today we're failing me today <laughs> it's nothing but dudes um, she finally finds the girl. She first sees uh, the uh, the girl with the, lo- the long blonde. Everyone has great hair in this movie. Um, they really do. Kurt's character, the blonde with the long hair. Um, she sees her first, right? And then she walks her over to the group. Yes. Yes. And then we meet Ruby, who is their filmer. Filmer. Their film. Their cinematographer? Filmographer. <laughs> filmographer. Their DP. <laughs> the girl who catches them on film. She always has a camera. I'm trying to get this quirk. I'm trying to be this. This I want this to be my personality. Um, but she always has a camera on her. And I'm just so amazed. How do you skate and film at the same time? Talent. Based, true talent. They, the things that they have to do, too, is also hard. Like, and they're trying to catch other people doing more intense tricks. But they also have to keep up. I just don't know. Um, I stand. So she's <laughs> skating and filming. <laughs> um, I don't know how they do that. So now we've got, we're in the street. We're walking. She's like, with, she's mixed into the group. And this guy, I wrote mansplains, but that's not a good word. But he's like, uh, he's patronizing, I guess, to Kurt. He's like, do you, can you even do an ollie or something like that? And she's like, no, I'm a poser. I don't know how to do anything. Um, oh yeah, no he, no, he didn't even say even. He was just like, "Can you do it, Ollie?" <laughs> it's like, like do one now. Can you shut up? Like, please. And, yeah, no, and I love her response, which I feel like that was probably that. That's probably that woman's actual <laughs> IRL response to comments like that. Yeah, she's really cool. Um, they're skating and dancing. Um, and then they go home. The mom's going out. She goes to the skate park again the next day and. Ruby takes her to meet the girls. Oh, is this how they meet the girls? Oh, to meet them again. Sorry, they'd already met. To meet them again. And they jumped the turnstile, so they've, you know, they formed a criminal bond together. Um, and now we, oh, I guess this was what they were trying to recreate, was them on the subway just talking. Are they talking? Are they on the subway? Oh, you know, they're yeah. on, like, the roof. Sorry, they're on the roof. But they're talking, and, like, if you compare this to mid-90s, notice how their teen talk is not cringy because they're not being offensive. They're live, but they're live, but they're lives. And even, it's not even like kids where like they're being like so sexually explicit to where it's like, feels kind of gross as adults to be watching them talk. I don't know. I mean, I guess teens can talk about whatever, but yeah, but it's like, they're just kids talking and like, they're not making, they're not being offensive, but it's still like, you can still get the fact that they're high and that and that they're interesting characters. I don't know. What do you, do you think real, about their teen talk? Yeah, no, it's real kids talking. It's not slash. I low key believe in the. I wrote this down in the the, the dimension thing she was talking about. Have you heard about that before? I've <laughs> Wait, talked about that again. with my friends. Tell us again. The dimension thing. Have you heard about that? Like how there's little there's little subtle things, like the Baron like there's a Berenstein Bear one. There's like there's just like all these little mini theories about how we hit another dimension. Like like we we crossed over and there's just subtle differences that they thought no one would notice. 
the simulation is changing? I mean, yeah, what, like, what else do you have? I forget. Now I forget how the Berenstein Bear one goes. Aww. But it's something with the spelling of the bear. Maybe, should I look it up? <laughs> should I look this up? Berenstein. Does the spelling shift or what? Steam Bear. Dimension, Dimension. Theory? <laughs> I really am going to. What if it doesn't come up? I'm That's going to be, be my so next u- uh, username. Berenstein Bear Dimension <laughs> Theory. It's <laughs> in my band. Come see us. Berenstein. Okay, I'm listening. With yeah, no, it, it's 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 just the spelling. Do you remember it being Berenstein with an E or and not Berenstein with an A? Don't you remember it with an E? B e r e n s t e i n. That's how that's how you remember it, right? That's yes. how I remember it too. But it's not like it, who that's changed incorrect. it? <laughs> we crossed over. But all now together, it's, we all cross over together. Yeah. No, I'm like. That's what that's what she's talking about in this. In, what does she say in the movie? It was something else, and I was like, "Oh, that's a good point." What if in, <gasps> what if in my movie they talked about something else? <laughs> oh no! Wait, you don't remember this part? I don't know. Anyway, but <laughs> you guys, e e i n is incorrect. No, I refute it. I re- refute it. Um, no, yeah, no, it's stain like s t s t a i n. Stain. Stain. Anyway. Um, the mom calls. Uh, Camille says she's at the library and. Liar! Um, she doesn't hug the girls goodbye. <laughs> and they, they seem sad about it when she leaves. <laughs> um, so at home, she hides her board in the bushes and there's a birthday cake because it's her birthday. Um, and then the next. And she's, then the they're next, just like. Oh, sorry. She's a vegan. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, oh. Vegan or vegetarian? Well, her mom was like, I didn't put egg in it. Oh, cute. Oh, I didn't notice. Yeah, and then, like, the next day, she um, she lowers her board through the window, but I was like, it was in the bush. Maybe she went out to go get it, but okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably went out more, to go get yeah, it. Yeah, okay, so. okay, okay. So we got the street shot. My favorite in the skating movie is the street shot. So we got these dreamy group shots. Um and then all these hair shots of the girls, like, we're loving black hair here. We're loving black hair. They, somebody's, like, lovingly playing in someone else's hair, but, um, you know, it seems warranted. And then we got, like, a long shot of Kurt's hair and then Rachel's hair. They just, what is it about the long hair? What are we doing? Um, I love it. And blowing in the wind. Yeah. And then <laughs> we go to Janae's skate. house. Janae's house is really cool. Her dad's making lasagna. Um, they're talking about tampons, which I guess is what they were talking about. On the butt, on the uh, subway, maybe, maybe they like wrote it down. Um, and she's so much more realistic than whatever they were talking about in mid nineties. Because I think she, she, Rachel says, "How do you put in a tampon or something like that?" Which is so much more realistic than the little boy in mid nineties who's like, "What's a black person?" Like that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't, <laughs> oh my god, it didn't make sense. I blocked that out. And they never <laughs> went back to it. Forgot that. They part. just laughed it off, but it didn't. It didn't wasn't warranted. I don't know. So, but this makes so much more sense. How do you? Because my friends taught me how to. They told me how to put in a tampon. My parents. I was afraid of tampons for forever. It was probably way too TMI. But um, no, I was too. I I was too. I didn't start using tampons till after I started having sex. Though that's way too much TMI. <laughs> my friends taught me. So this is this is conversations that really do happen. How do you do that? I'm mm-hmm. afraid of that. My mom has only taught me this one way. You I'm know? pretty sure you talk to me about it. Well, I'm so glad I could open that <laughs> in door college. for you because someone else yeah. opened it. I, I remember this actually vividly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It's fine. <laughs> All my mom told me was you have to get it past a muscle, and I was like, I'm going to pass out. Okay, what? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I would never. I would never. <laughs> you got me fucked up. No, I would never. A muscle? Okay, yeah. so you see, I, I guess I get past that muscle. I just don't know which one it is. <laughs> well, I guess she just means, like, yeah, Kegels? Is that a muscle? Kegels? I don't know. I don't you, fucking know. That now I'm just embarrassing Kegel, myself Kegel, with not right? knowing my yeah. own anatomy. When you hear the word Kegel, you do a Kegel. Um, hey. And then I like that they don't assume that she's straight. They're just like, what What are you into? Like, who? Like, boys, girls? And then the other girl's like, you know, I'm into girls. Well, and, then, and there was that whole vagina scene, which I don't know. But like, what? Where, where Janae is like, is my vagina normal? And so she, like, shows it to uh Oh. To Kara. <laughs> um, 
so okay, then they're they're in the house. Oh, she goes home back to her house, and she gets home really late. She gets a fight with her mom, and the mom takes her board. And yeah, that's the last straw. I guess my judgment. What I was going to say earlier was was the mom stuff kind of rushed or one sided. I don't know. Do you think it was as well, developed as it could be? Like yes and no because we do get that monologue later about how their relationship was kind of different yeah. from well, normal mom it's, and I mean, daughter like, relationships. We got that. We got the one shot. We got like maybe three scenes with the mom, and then the next scene that we're gonna have is her like saying "fuck you, mom." You're, I don't. You mean nothing to me. Like we get like nothing really fast. So I wonder if we had had that monologue before that big final fight. If or not the big final fight, but the the next big. It fight. wouldn't have seemed so. S- Sudden, yeah. Because what w- what's happened so far? Her mom has said, "Don't skate; you'll be infertile." And then she said, oh, "And then she made her a birthday cake." And then she is now they're fighting about. Uh, they, she takes her skateboard. So I don't know if that's really warrants. I'm moving out of that's your house. That's true. I don't that's know. true. Like I'm not going home. Yeah, I mean, it was already. It's already a longer movie, I guess, an hour and fifty minutes ish. So yeah, <laughs> maybe they did fit in a lot of stuff. So I don't know. So um. The friend tried, and I, yeah, I don't want them to cut anything else out, I don't think. <laughs> uh, so then they're at the park. The friend is trying to get her, oh, yeah, her mom took her board. So uh, I think it was Janae is trying to get her a board. I forgot who, but somebody's trying to get her a board. And a boy gives it to her. He's kind of in their clique, I guess. He, we see him a lot throughout the rest of the movie. Yeah, he's adorable. Yeah. Um, they Right? I'm thinking of the right one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really cute. And then they start, they... Is we get like shots of them like building the board, which is really fascinating. Um, oh, I love shit like that. Yeah, and it's just like, like community, you know? Like we are kids who just hang out, and this is us, and we do this, and like we're all. I mean, what other like sport gets this much like attention? It <laughs> gets this like whole community, and like this is my aesthetic, this is my life, this is what I do. Like ice skaters don't, or maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> I also just have a soft spot for like seeing like not even in a just a film setting but like seeing any sort of specialist with their tool or their I don't know like like seeing ballerinas like fucking yes, up their yes. point shoes or, or like seeing this like seeing a skateboarder like buff up their board yeah. or I don't know it's just like I don't, it's cool because I don't know what it takes to prep for skateboarding I don't know yeah what I'm trying to like say wiping and like the drilling yeah and the, the, I appreciated that in a skating movie I think like the cool thing about skaters is like that they are this group and they like they go on adventures to like these these places to like where they can skate because a lot of places are you know it's like a crime to skate there and they have to like have these like escapes from danger together and like they're just bonded and they're just exploring cities together i don't know it's something also i assume it's self-taught yeah because it's just kids going and fucking around on boards in yeah, skate parks right it's really not like, like there's instructors get Hire. I mean, if you hire your someone, friends, your friends help you. Cool. Like you have to hire. Is what it looks. Yeah, exactly. No, no, it looks like, or at I'm least going in the to movie, skateboarding class. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> no, but in the, in um, the movie, it looks. It kind of looks just like your friend. Like you discuss with each other. Like, oh yeah, no, I think like it's all inside. I move my toes. Down. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Um, which is cool. Again, yeah. You know, it's it's very much like a. Click. It's a real community. And, like, I don't know, it seems, like, it seems sacred. Like, yes. there's these, this little I mean, click. and this movie kind of tries to be, like, a little, like, skateboard Romeo and Juliet, I guess, is what we're supposed to get. Like, when there's, like, the two groups, like, boys versus girls, and you can't talk to them over there, you can't, you skated with them, like, you know, it's the worst thing ever, like. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll get there. So, she goes, oh, her mom... Um, she's ignoring her mom's calls, and then uh, she starts staying with Janae, <laughs> um, which I guess yes would make the mom very mad. So Janae made veggie burgers, be- veggie bur- veggie burgers, veggie burgers for her, and <laughs> really sweet. And Janae sleeps. Oh, this is where okay. This is unrealistic. <laughs> what Janae has a full afro and she's sleeping on the pillow with nothing around her hair. Where is her bonnet? Oh. Like, this is not... 
<laughs> Throw the whole movie away. This is not true. <laughs> you cannot do that. <laughs> That's like when actresses always go to sleep with a full head, face of makeup on no. in movies. It's like, this no. This is so much more sacred. Like, she's going to wake up with tiny with a tiny afro. It's going to shrink overnight. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> shrink it. It's going to be all frizzy. You have to wrap your hair, girls. Or, like, was the, was the pillowcase silk? We don't know. Um, <laughs> satin. Uh, she, la la la. Oh, her mom comes to the skate park the next day, and she's fighting. You know, where were you? I called your dad, and the mom slaps her, and she she skates up really fast. So <laughs> she's she's gone. Um, goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I guess. Yeah, no, you're right. It's like is this skates her. I see why the mom a skater her, uh, slapped her because the mom yeah. was worried about. You know, she has about her whereabouts, oh, like yeah. her safety, yeah. And I see why she skates off because you, my mom just slaps me in front of my cool new friends and slap me. But period. but during the fight, she was like, "Fuck you! You don't mean anything to me anymore." And I was like, "Wait, whoa, wait, hold on! I thought you were just upset that she threw your board away." But I mean, there is all that other stuff we haven't learned yet. Yeah. So maybe if we had learned that first, I feel like it was a choice, though. I feel like they wanted to play it out like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, she goes yeah, home right? before the okay, mom. <laughs> I, I, yeah, she goes. Gets home all her shit mom, and like actually and she runs packs away. And she changes to some cool yellow pants, and she goes to Janae's. And she, now she tells us the divorce story. So she chose to live with her dad, and um, she would visit her mom. Uh, and like that, that in, it was. Uh, she was talking about how. When she was growing breasts, she would, like, punch herself to keep them from growing. And that was just, like, so interesting to me. Like, I've never heard that. And it stood yeah. out. I don't know. It seems really real. Yeah. Uh, the dad was jealous of the mom, and now they don't talk anymore. So, I mean, children of divorce, say hello. Hello. Um, Jaden Smith shows up. Jaden Smith! Yeah, he com- comes on the this scene. This is where we are. Okay, so... School well, this is hair. where Kurt, per- fuchsia hair. Our, our, fuchsia. our token white girl, this is where she was, like, kind of teetering on a black scent a little bit. I mean, she's, I, know she's from, I know she's from New York, but... Uh, I went totally over my head. Okay, so they're fighting. Some guy took her, took her board, I guess, or something, and she's like, Hey, yo, chill, chill. He's like, okay, please calm down. <laughs> everybody, everybody <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I don't know why, like, when people are being aggressive, their first instinct is to, like, act black i don't know if it's black always but like ethnic why why what is that what does that do for you what are you saying i don't know so she does that but but she gets her board back i guess but Jaden is like a friend of the guy who's harassing her i guess so it's like now we have we see like there's this boy click there's this girl click the boy click is really like uh patronizing and they're just like they say later on, like, oh, you should be in, you guys, you guys get in the kiddie pool or something like that. So just like, you know, man spreading their giant, you know how like when men sit on the subway, they like spread their legs out. You don't need that much space. Like, close your legs. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> or when you're on the fucking plane and the dude sitting right fucking next to you, like, has his leg in your space. Does that happen like, this to is you? Nice. I paid for this, this area. I nudge him back. I'm like, move your leg over. <laughs> fuck <laughs> out. Move your leg over. I was elbowing this guy, like, an entire flight once, because he just kept, like, putting his elbow, like, straight, like, on me. Oh, no. See. You know what I mean? Uh, like, ding, crossing ding, the middle uh, yeah. flight attendant right now. Um, so, uh, at her job, she has a job like now at, a, like, a little store. Oh, yeah. She, so, yeah. She gets a job at a she supermarket. Works with Jaden Smith. With Jaden. Okay. He's got pink hair. Red hair? Pink hair. And she didn't even recognize him at first. He was the one that was like, where's your girl gang? And she was like, huh? Like, who were, oh. <laughs> I liked that. Oh, you're the redhead <laughs> What? What? Nothing. I said, oh, you're the same redhead guy. It's just he's a lot of redhead guys. Um, <laughs> she's at the club. My only note was, they hype. <laughs> <'Cause> they <are. laughs> They're hype. I guess it's like a, it's probably like some underground warehouse That looked or something. fun. Yeah, that looked fun, but then... It was getting. I was like, oh, okay, I'm too. I'd have to go home. I was too too old. But they were hype at first. Like, <laughs> yes, they were dancing, twerk. Like it was like, it was that was a fun scene. And then there's an orgy. I guess like a teen orgy. Yeah. Um, so well, no, I think they were kind of all like young adults. I'd like to think. 
Because she was 18. I'd like to think they're all 18, 19, right? I mean, is that not a teen? 18, 19, 20? Yeah, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Sorry, it just sounded weird. T or G sounded like I something mean, on Pornhub. And I felt weird, because I was like, wait, how old were they? But I'm getting very old to where I have to, like, check people's ages. And, like, I have to I have to actively think about, wait, what am I consuming, you know? Um, yeah. So maybe a teen, teen orgy. And I wrote, like, I wrote, she's starting to feel like a seventh wheel. Because <laughs> it was, like five couples making out and they like try to get her into it and then she's like she's like no yeah <laughs> she's just like see ya <laughs> no thank you because like at first they were just like cooling it like talking having fun and then, <laughs> then it was like wow okay what's well, all fuck everyone's <laughs> like, hooking um, up I don't really want to do this. <laughs> she's so relatable. Oh, she's so sweet. So yeah, she, she just kind of pulls the hand off her lap. I know. And she's get, like, bye. Get that out of my crotch, please. <laughs> it's your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so she goes to the roof and uh, Jade is there. Well, let's, I will say the orgy was um, not heteronormative. Is that what we want to say? Sure. Yeah. There was some bi yeah. stuff going on. So there was some gay stuff going on. You know, living... It was a good representation of of stuff. I don't know. She goes to the roof. <laughs> so we were talking about it, but, <laughs> but let's move on. <laughs> she goes to the roof, and Jaden's there. Um, was he doing anything? I think he was smoking. Or yeah, I think he was just smoking. Yeah, by himself. I mean, Jaden's personality in this movie—he's kind of. I'm 20, do you mind? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's something I said to someone. Um, no, didn't I say I'm 21, do you mind? Wait, wait okay, they need the context now. Okay, so we were, sorry. On, <laughs> a, we were on a subway in Paris. and When we were 20 and 21. When I was, ni- I was 19 oh, yeah, and you, you were 20. 19. Yeah. And um, she there saw, hot boys. well, we saw these really cute boys come on, but they were like, with backpacks so they're obviously very like young i think they're they look like 16 or something i don't know don't say that well that's why you said i'm 20 do you mind because well like, yeah i'm be... gonna i was hoping they were like 18 okay maybe i don't know i'm not, I'm not trying to be a weirdo we don't know they're but just, anyways <laughs> nothing happened we left <laughs> yeah no yeah we didn't even talk to them but we just joke now she said yeah. to me yeah i'm 20 do sorry you mind? Um, i'm 20 do you mind wow we, okay I'm sorry really wow okay uh so we're a fucking old. Okay, sorry. No, but um, I was actually going to say his character is not that likable. I don't know. I don't really see what she sees. What are you? I mean, he's like cool and quiet and like he's less of a jerk than everybody else. But um, that's it, though. Like, isn't that the, like, isn't that like. But it's so good. Like, it's, it works so well because yeah. we're always out here ruining our lives for people who are just okay. Like, why? That's what I was just about to say. Like, isn't that the recipe for a disaster, though? A guy that's, like, You're cute like, oh, and he's, like, cute and cool and quiet and, like, but then you find out he's emotionally unavailable. He's slightly above average. <laughs> and then you torture yourself. Away. Like, yeah. <laughs> and, the, yeah, like, that's really smart writing. Yeah. But, um, just saying. From, from me over here, I'm like, girl... Your friends are so much cooler. So uh, she goes to the roof. Jaden's there. I mean, not that she should be in the in the in the seventh sum or whatever, but um, the seventh sum, <laughs> the sixth sum. No, no I get what you're saying. Like, <laughs> but um, Jaden, he asked her to do some photography shit, <laughs> which is how he put it. Uh, she's busy, which I didn't understand what he meant at first. I was like, you want her to take pictures of you, or what? Oh, I understood what he meant it right away. Because he had already complimented her skating. Okay, okay. On the roof. He was like, wow, yeah, like, you, Oh, yeah, 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 I don't know the lingo. <laughs> <laughs> like, you grind or shred or something. <laughs> like, what is it? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, is this an olive? I'm just doing it. Uh, yes. So, uh, then they go to a carnival. Is that right? What do you mean? Is friends? Right? That, yeah, they go to a carnival because there's like really cute shots. Oh, and, like hanging. This oh movie yeah, like, so she's because she's to... like, nah, I can't. I gotta go to a carnival with my friends. Oh, uh, yeah, this movie looks like it was so much fun to film. Like I guess they were just like hanging out, like doing all this cool sh- stuff, and like skating and getting paid. Okay, so <laughs> photographer Jaden's photography, ph- ph- photographing her. 
Yeah, and then she does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're on a roof, though, which I was like, oh, my God, that's terrifying. They're a really cool roof. She starts doing some really cool tricks. And then there's, like, them sitting on the edge of the building. I love that shot. And, like, I was like, mm-hmm. New York is so cool. Like, this is someone's first day. Oh, my God. Just, like, sitting on the edge of a roof looking down on people. Although I'm stupid. I had to look up what city it was because I never know from skyline shots. I'm like, oh, okay. what fucking city is that? I could, just because well, I'm Well, because they had said Long Island <laughs> earlier, so I, I got that. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Long Island. But, Long um, Island. Did you ever watch the Long Island medium? <laughs> no, but I've seen her. Oh, my God. What a fucking scam artist. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't ever talk about her. Ah! She's <laughs> Shit, and no. Um, so yeah, there's actually. Like, I wish I liked the cold and like living on top of people because I don't. But um, because I love roofs, <laughs> I love rooftops <laughs> and views. Uh, so they're at the skate park, and Jaden is there, and this is where we see like this is really well done. Janae like looks at him, and then uh, the friend Indigo is like, "Girl, you don't want that," <laughs> which is oh. <laughs> yes <laughs> relatable content you don't want to go back you don't want to go back guys you know that it's bad you know you know so just let it go I'm talking to myself okay so here we go <laughs> this is where the guy is like or this is where Kurt is like yelling at that guy that she already fight, fought with because I guess he's like blocking them from dropping into the uh, the it's not a pool but the, the dip I don't know skaters help us out okay, well, he says you guys have to use this, the kitty pool so you know he's being a dick so then there's oh there's a little girl watching them as they're skating by which like means so much I don't know oh yeah no she was so cute oh this is like they're inspiring her they're inspiring me um oh and also yeah so like Camille and Jaden's character had a little moment on the roof right and then so like just Oh yeah, they yeah. Just wanna, so, so then, then yeah, we found out the that Janae and camera Jayden, girl, Janae and, and Jaden. Sorry, had yeah, it. no, not the camera girl. They girl the afro, Janae, who she's like. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, Janae sitting at her house. Yeah, sorry, um, sorry, sorry. Who does not wrap her hair at night. Uh, they had a. <laughs> they had a thing. A tryst. But Rachel doesn't say anything. Oh, sorry, Camille doesn't say anything. Yeah, Camille hasn't said anything, and Janae also. <laughs> Janae also has never talked about it yet. Yeah, that's true. She just so kind of looked at him. Camille just kind of saw that there but they never like had a full conversation like she never like fully yeah. opened up to her about it either can so. i confess i i saw both sides of this drama <laughs> and i have been in both sides of this both drama it's like chanel yes yeah <laughs> get it um <laughs> so then the girls are like they go off to go do some crazy or tricks i guess i guess they, i guess they were like amped up off of not being allowed to skate there i don't know um but janae gets hurt she has her ankle which is the worst like oh Oh, and she knew it. She went into it. You can't, I feel like it's like with anything physical and active and that's kind of scary. You can't go into it with a negative attitude or just like doing shrooms or something. I know. But it's like, (laughs) she went into it being like, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. It's like kind of, and then she did it and she hurt herself. She psyched herself out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Am I making sense? I liked seeing that she was scared because. That's how I would be. I assume that she was really good at it. I assume they were all just really good at it and, like, untouchable. So it's it's cool to see, like, a vulnerability there. Um, oh, she hurt herself. I know. She, yeah, yeah she no, it did ankle. seem like it hurt. She so. fucked up her ankle, and so now she can't skate for, like, two weeks or something like that. Um, she she was pissy. And it's Sorry. Summer. I would be the same way. I would be the same it's way. summer, and she has to stay inside. I feel that because yeah, no, it's cold in New York so fast. So like, <laughs> You're just like, ugh. <laughs> This is valuable time. Like, fuck Ooh, up your ankle in the winter. It gets hot in New York, too, though, I will say. In okay, the okay, fuck up your ankle in the winter. Yeah. Not in this, the summer. Although it would be cool to see a movie about them, like, skating in the winter and, like, their puffy coats and stuff. Because I bet they'd have cool outfits, too. Um, I, I will say, like, <laughs> I did write down, like, I mean, maybe we didn't, didn't see all the hangout time, but I was like, she's letting you stay with her. Like, couldn't you hang out with her a little bit more? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, Janae, I, I, no, I totally get Janae's side. Like, you, I made you veggie burgers. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, couldn't you hang out with me a little bit? I gave you a house. To, like, nobody else is doing this for you, and then you go off and, like, fuck with my ex 
almost ex. Or even like that's even worse. They were yeah. almost. They weren't even like fully dating. They were like almost. Yeah, it was a guy that toyed with her right? emotions. Or situationship, like you. Yeah. Although, or like even like regardless of the dude, I was just like just like hang out with her more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she can't leave the house, and she's letting you live with her. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but no, that adds a layer to the a drama layer, onion. A layer. Um. So it's nighttime now. Camille goes out skating with Jaden uh, to take videos with the boys, with the boy teams, you know, the the, the Capulets or whatever. Um, she did look fun. <laughs> yeah. And so... They were fun to hang out with. Like, I mean, yeah. they were... I feel like they were rude at first to her. Definitely that one aggressive guy was rude. Um, were they? I don't remember that. Yeah, he was like, he was like, look, she shreds, okay? Let her come out. <laughs> like, okay, whatever. And oh, but, okay. but they're like being weird, and she or like security guards come up to them and like take a board or whatever. I wasn't cl- I wasn't sure if it was her board or the guy's board. They took a board, and they're like, "Get out of here!" Blah, blah, blah. Like, chaos ensues is what I wrote. <laughs> like, they, they took the board, or whatever, and then she like politely gets the board back. She's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna leave." Blah blah. blah. And then she like does a trick anyway and so now they're like chasing all of her so now she's got respect okay Correct. yeah because she yeah she <laughs> she back and she like i don't know stuck her finger up to authority and like she earned yeah got the shots they need it she earned her <laughs> i think at one point devin did say like or jaden smith you know devin said let's get these shots let's get these shots so it's like always about is that fun still if like there's still like uh they're they're doing this thing or whatever, but it's like always for views almost. <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> like Like you were saying when we were on vacation. It's like is this all just for Instagram? <laughs> oh no. Wait, who was I talking about? Oh no. Oh you were just like you were just like I just don't I I forget what we were talking about. You were just like I can't remember. But, but it was when we were at Madonna Inn, I think. Oh, okay. You're just well, yeah, like, Madonna like Inn is for yeah. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. But you it's were like, like, I don't want to live vicariously through my... It's like both. I mean, I see both because they're, like, really proud of themselves and, like, they're doing this cool thing. And Instagram builds a community because, of course... I mean, how the movie got made. Jaden Smith found Rachel through Instagram. Like, if you don't show what you can do, you don't get seen. But... But at the same time, is that all you're doing it for? Yeah. Because he was I'm not like, about let's get that. these shots. Let's get these sh-. Like, he's, like, kind of, like, their manager. I don't know. Like, what he's doing. <laughs> which, again, which, again, you're right on, on like, the attractiveness thing, which I would, I would kind of be like, you're all work. <laughs> I know. Like, please get on face with the camera. Although, he yeah. skated and use a camera, too. I saw it. I peeped it. How? How do you guys do that? Show me. I wish I was another person. <laughs> I Shut wish up. I could do things. <laughs> um, you're amazing. Yeah. Don't you you wish can do you lots just, like, of good things. Don't you wish you just, like, knew instantly how to do everything? I don't know. That's a weird thought. Yeah, that would so, be cool. So, <laughs> Camille's getting closer to, to Devin and the boys, because she, she skates out with them for a few times. And Devin asked her about Janae. So, he, he brought it up. He did bring it up. And did he talk about their – did he talk about their past? I feel like he said... A little. He was just kind of like, ah, yeah, like, I just didn't like her like that. Right? Isn't that how he put it? But then I guess. He's like, oh, I just realized we are better off as friends. Yeah. Which, so uh, like, why do guys always see it like that? <laughs> They're always like, ah, yeah, no, I just, like... But then... I guess he's just, like, toying with people. and then, Or maybe he just, like, doesn't really like... I mean, he doesn't have to like anybody. No, true. So... Tr- true. It's kind of not. I mean, we can't always. And you know, when we get to the scene later, like where they. I mean, I guess maybe it's an age thing because I feel like now I would not be as offended, but I totally get her. Yeah, she was pissed. Like when yeah. we get to that scene, she was pissed. But. I would have been the same way at that age, though. You know yeah, because I mean? it's like I don't. This is all I wanted from you, and you don't. Want but to I also would have uh, also have been in Camille's shoes. Yeah. Like I have you no, ever? I'm, ta- have, I'm if, talking about Camille. I'm talking about how she was oh. pissed. Oh, oh, wait. What do you mean pissed? When was she pissed? She was okay. Well, when they get. I mean, we could. You want to skip? Well, wait. Yeah, wait. Where do we leave off? <laughs> I'm going on a tangent. Sorry. I always well, do this. when when Jaden when Dave, Devin ends up like spurning her advances, she's she's pissed. Like she doesn't 
ever talk to him again. <laughs> she doesn't resolve anything with him. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, where are you supposed to go from that? <laughs> oh, well, Where I mean, are you supposed to... Yeah. Well, yeah. if he says he's not into you, he's not into you. Yeah, but he's, like, pushing this friend agenda. I don't know if it's an agenda, because maybe he does really want to be friends. And you can't, like, blame him for wanting to be... Like, he doesn't owe anyone... I feel like for her, though, she was kind of only willing to ditch her friends for some dick. You know? (laughs) (laughs) So she's like, oh. Oh, that's not on the table? Well, then they're way way cooler as friends. Like, no offense. And (laughs) Ruby has a camera, so. (laughs) Yeah, so then she was like, oh, well, then I miss my girlfriend. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, well, then actually, never mind. (laughs) Then actually, never mind. I think she thought, yeah, she thought he was into her. Yeah. And, I mean, we all did. So, yeah, J- Janae's... Mess- yeah, so did we. So, Janae says that she's messed... She's stuck at home. She's upset. And she says that she's messed up about Devin. She's like, you really messed me up. Which, yeah, I get it. I They do that. And so... <laughs> they do it, girl. They do that. Devin tells her that... Oh, this is where they're, like, at the skate park. And, like, one of their friends who, like, wasn't really in the group is, like... Uh, she's, like, on some kind of drug or something. And they have to go and get her. And then... Camille's mad at Devin. I remember it was kind of that was weird. Yeah, story there. Um, so Devin, they're mad at Devin now or whatever, and mad at his friends and hit, but him by association. And then this is where they kind of this is where Indigo, the girl with the braids, kind of. She sings. I loved. Oh my god, the look she gave like Devin and then Camille. Is that what you're gonna say? Uh-huh, uh-huh. She was like, I was like, oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, she sees... It struck me. Indigo sees that something is going on between Jade and... Uh, Devin and and uh, Camille. So she's like, you need to sell Janae. You know, it is all this like bullshit. ice cold, the look she gives Camille. Janae comes back out. Um, Good Jan- acting. And Janae comes back out and she sees that Camille is on Devin's Instagram. Is that all the same scene? The, no, um... It's kind of the, it's kind of just right, it's like, another, the next day or whatever. It's a, yeah, it's next, the next scene. Next scene, maybe. Maybe something happened. N- another day or whatever. But, yeah, it's another day. Janae is back out, um... And she sees... Yeah, Janae Camille sees her on, on the... Camille is on Devin's Instagram. So she's like, are you fucking him? <laughs> and Camille tries to throw Indigo under the bus. She's like, well, well Indigo knew. Oh, which is fucked up. Indigo did not... Yeah. Indigo told you to tell it, whatever. <laughs> and way earlier, the girl from Saved by the Bell told her. <laughs> Wait, yes, yes. When they found out, she when she found out she was working with him. Oh, okay, I at that. all? Yeah, okay. She was and like, so, Ugh. Yeah, yeah. It was like so. Janae is upset, and Kurt is upset, and there's like they're they're mad about two different things. Like Janae is like, "Did you fuck him?" And then Kurt is like, "Why were you skating with them?" <laughs> like because Kurt is of course. Really pissed at that one guy who's terrible. <laughs> who's like the yeah, who took her board, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but she's like, it's like almost like the audacity of you to skate with. It's sacred, like you were saying before. Why are you skating with those dudes we hate? And so they actually fight. They actually fight, yeah. And um, then there's like a falling sequence, which I appreciate because that's what I would do. Um, Camille goes... <laughs> Camille goes to live with Devin, <laughs> and it looks like the house from kids. Um, oh, wait. Can we touch on... I, I, the only part I was like, uh, I didn't like that they were calling her a whore. Did they? Yeah. Did you not hear that? When she was walking away and stuff, they were like, you whore. Like, her friends were calling her that. Like, I didn't sleep I was like, them. yeah, I didn't sleep with them, but also, it like, It was just for Instagram that. likes. <laughs> like, it was just, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean... That was my one, like, oh. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Because I have, again, also been in Camille's shoes, and I've been, ah. Uh, oh, you were on some guy's Instagram? Slandered. <laughs> no, 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 but just, like. An escape crew and <laughs> an arrival rescue. Like, like got, got with a guy that was, I guess, off. Like, I wasn't there for the beef. I was new to that group. You know what I mean? Like, have you been there? <laughs> and then they, like, slut me, no. me, essentially. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, anyway, yeah, so she moves in with Devin. I'm just here for the cute boys. Like, I'm just, and for friends, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> can I have a pork and ostos? Why? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, she goes to the kids' house, the house from the movie Kids, and uh, they are freestyling with a harmonica. I was like, come on. Never shout never. Like, <laughs> it's a good beat. It's beatboxing with a harmonica. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, he's ukulele. He's not really harmonica, is he? Okay, so it's more like a... Who uses a harmonica? Stevie Wonder? Like, <laughs> but I've never heard anyone freestyle over a harmonica beatbox. <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. LOL. So, he has, like, 35 roommates. <laughs> Yeah, which also, like, which, again, like, led me to believe these were, like, 19, 20-year-olds. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's New York. Places. It's understandable. You could be, like, 40 yeah. years old with 35 roommates. He has 35 roommates, and they're loud all of the time. <laughs> Poor girl. Oh, I know, yeah. And she has to sleep on the couch. And I thought at first, I was like, oh, he's going to come out there and be like, hey, I know it's it's loud. Do you want to come sleep in my room? I'll take the couch or something like that. But no, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> He does not give a f- like. Well, because to him, he's uh, she's just his friend. Yeah. 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 I mean, on, like, See, I, I don't think he gives. It, he's just treating her like one of the dudes. I mean, really, I don't think he's. I don't think we've seen in this movie that he's been over like flirty. So it's not. Nope, we can't not even at all. really be mad at his character because even when they're on the roof. They have like he's just and, cute and artsy, and it's not his fault. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm cute, and, and I go. I t- well, he did say like you're the only girl I've taken to this roof, which is kind of leading on a little bit. But like, pretty much That's true. the first time when they're at the roof at the party in the in the nighttime, they have an awkward conversation, and she leaves. Like they don't really. He doesn't. He doesn't. The, the roof comment. I thought it could also be taken as like just peer like I don't like even just as like a ooh we're breaking down gender friendship things like I I didn't yeah kind of take it. I think she really... took it as like a oh but I didn't think he meant it that way he was just yeah. kind of like oh so you're like, a girl and you're cool she's seeing things that aren't really there yeah which maybe Janae did too poor Janae I could poor I see Janae. it Janae we're not mad at you I see this I see it we see each other yes like he's not really he's just like existing <laughs> and everyone's throwing themselves at him yeah <laughs> and he's losing all of his friends yeah because yeah it's she doesn't even stay with him that long before she puts the moves on him she like jumps in his bed <laughs> <laughs> let me see oh yeah okay wait so oh sorry minutes. did i skip they go to the skate park. Uh, Devin's filming her. The girls go by, and she like she goes sit by herself. Um, and then she, and then yeah, this is where it happens. So she <laughs> checks out herself in the mirror, makes sure her body's looking right, and then <laughs> her Calvin's make sure her Calvin's look good. Um, and then she gets in his bed because your roommates are fucking loud. Um, and then he comes back, and I guess he's like drunk or something. He's like, whatever, I'm fucked up. And, he's like, and then like. She like does that thing like I don't know it's a lot. <laughs> She's he, was, like, <laughs> he was messed up, so shouldn't she have maybe not made it over there? She else? probably should not have. I yeah. kind of took that as a oh no. Like, I got <laughs> I I heard it and I like if like, I was in the bed with him because it'd just be the, like oh okay inverse, I'll try tomorrow. <laughs> the inverse would be terrible. Yeah, exactly. I would just like roll over and go to sleep. Oh, she's drunk. Let me try to kiss yeah. her now. That's not a good. I don't not, try to hook up with fucked up boys. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah. Well, yeah. first of all, it's gross, and second of all, yeah. well, first of all, it's against their consent. Second, second of all, yeah. it's, it's not usually it's not enjoyable if you're. Like, you can taste the alcohol. It's not good if you're so. Or if they're, like, falling asleep. It's like, oh. Yeah, that's weird and <laughs> necrophiliac. <laughs> okay, so. Um, and boring. So, yeah, and just sloppy. Yeah. It usually smells. But then weird. he does, yeah, but then she still goes into it. She nuzzles against him, puts her face by his. It's always like, what are you doing? Nothing? <laughs> I'm just putting my chin by your chin. I'm smelling. Nothing. You. I'm just moving my face back and forth softly. You know, <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> oh, and then oh, so he then, does. Like, they kinda, just kiss a little bit. They're kissing. But he, then he's like, he's uh, like, gets on top or whatever. You think something's going to happen. He's like, but then he's I like, still have a squeepy. Sorry. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> have you heard that? A phrase that Shannon, or isn't it your Shannon? That's Ari. And um, have I told you that? He what calls is it, it a squeepy. It's a flaccid penis. Oh. Okay, well, when did he tell you that? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just saying, like, that's what Tarian calls flaccid penises, and I think it's funny, squeepy, because it does kind of look like a squeepy. What's a no, squeepy? No, squeepy. 
Nothing. It's nothing. He made up the word. What does it look like? <laughs> a flaccid, I mean, having Aww. like flaccid penises look like squeepies. A sweet pea, yeah. Squeepy. <laughs> Not a sweet pea. I Those little you. nasty dangly things. I hear things. you. A no. But he, no, but sorry. <laughs> but basically, he's like, um, this isn't. Doing it's more like for a me. limp balloon, like a limp water balloon. I don't know. <laughs> Squeepy! <laughs> Squeepies. Okay, we're, we're <laughs> renaming the podcast Squeepies. Um, uh, L- oh my god. Okay, so he has a okay. Squeepy. Well, he's like, we're friends, but then he cuddles her, which is sweet. He just wants friends. And he's he not, just, he does. He's not getting that from Janae or from Camille because, no. <laughs> He's, we just wanted you for sex. <laughs> he's a motivated for, little dude. For he's like, I'm just focused on my photography. Okay, whatever. <laughs> he's kind of aloof. I can't. I mean, I'm not mad at him. Yeah, I just don't see the appeal to his like personality-wise. He's really cute, but um. Oh, I would totally be also in the same boat, probably. He's like, not, give me those emotionally unavailable, not, not into you, me, dudes. Yeah, he's not giving you. I see it though. I see it. I see both. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So she's on the subway and she goes back to Long Island. Um, Long Island. I Sorry. do love that we get the resolution with the mom. I do love that we get that. Um, yeah. Moms are the best. That's what I wrote down. It's done really well too. So she goes home to the mom. Um, she's crying and the mom is the mom is not judgmental. I mean, the last time, I mean, I. I kind of didn't get as much development from the mom's character as I wanted, but in the end, I'm getting it. Like, she's not judgmental here. Um, and she's, like, she she compliments her skating when she sees her skating. Um, and she, she the mom gets to skate, too, which is really cute. That was um, cute. And then she she's, like, you can go apologize to your friends. And then Camille speaks Spanish. She's, like, yes. <laughs> Give me more. Um, and then, like, the last scene is them. Okay, the last scene is pretty much Camille texts the girls and she's like uh um I regret how things go down I, yeah I regret how things go down or like, went down <laughs> yeah and our last scene is them like she's she's they're skating all together which is like I wish I I, I wanted to see that resolution cause I don't I don't know if an Instagram message would have I don't know cause it, it was like I was like is this a dream is this the resolution is this a flashback or like what happened Oh, I thought it was kind of nice. It was kind of like girlfriends are the best too because they're just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, so you like chicks it, before you didn't dicks, see it at all? like whatever. It's fine. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. You wanted more hugging and kissing. I wanted to see like, what Janae said because I feel like Janae would <laughs> need some more convincing that. And especially Indigo. Indigo's pissed. <laughs> That's Why true. Why would you bring yeah. my name into this? Like, <laughs> I told you to go do this so that you wouldn't get in trouble, but then you brought me in t- to try to make me upset. We're both love laces. Why would you do that? So um, let's get to our scoring system. So we do a scoring system here at Girls Interrupted. It's called Rating to Exhale. Uh, we score the movies... Um, out of a hundred and it's broken into 10 categories about inclusion and how well the story was made. Yeah. That's my, yes. that's my spiel. Okay. So we'll yes. start off with each category. Here we go. First category. Um, and mine might be out of order cause I had to write it for memory. I'm sorry. So, um, no, you're fine. female characters, female characters. Okay. So I gave it an eight. I gave it a nine. Okay. Um, minorities on film. I give it a 10 because I actually kind of, when I was doing my rating, I think I forgot about Saved by the Bell. When I did my rating, I thought it, there were no white people. <laughs> I, <gave it laughs> I forgot about Blondie. I gave it a 9. I mean, I don't know if we're going for like the full Rainbow Coalition, but like, did, were there any Asian characters? Ah. I don't know if, no. if that's necessary. And I mean, I don't know how we, how do we judge that? I don't know. I just kind of like it's really nice to not see all. Yeah, we had token. I mean, like, white faces. The the boys' crew was largely white. No. Oh, was it? Oh, I mean, maybe I gave too high. Yeah. <laughs> I but I was it, just like, there. No, no, I gave it a nine. I gave it a nine. Yeah, but a ten. I mean, there was a lot of color on screen. Like we have to think about it. So that's great. We have to think yeah. about who was white. <laughs> that's really exactly. That's yeah, really refreshing because usually it's the inverse. And um, 
you know, I appreciate this movie. Um, okay. Uh, gay characters? LGBTQ, I gave it a seven. LGBTQIA. I gave it a four. A four? Because it was kind of, I mean, the main love story is hetero. Ah, that's fair. Um, we have one gay character. But, but I, I guess I was thinking of her more as like a token gay character, but I, I'm forgetting about the teen orgy. So, and about them uh, asking her, you know, who are you into? Because that's very nuanced because normally they just like assign. Exactly. Whatever. So. And they didn't, I, I guess I gave it a seven because they didn't like make it a thing. Yeah. Like it wasn't a like, this is. They are queer, and yeah, this is true. And it was what like queer coaching. characters do, and they get to be happy. <laughs> it's so many like LGBT movies; is they end so sad. Like we can't be together. One of us dies. Like why? Um, right. Because this one, they get to be happy and like carefree and like. Yeah, she was just kind of in one of the. Yeah, she was just a normal fucking character. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna up mine, and also, I don't know if this ties over into morals, but it doesn't like end on a heteronormative like thing because she doesn't get with him exactly yeah it ends you know with not with no love connection no love which is which is i also like yeah okay so i'm gonna up it to a six um okay uh diverse bodies i gave it a zero yeah i gave it a a zero everybody's everybody spit um i mean i guess they're all spitting (laughs) all over the place but um they're all skinny skinny uh women and minorities behind the camera um, I gave it an eight, and I believe I did that because we had, I thought they were three, we're saying at least two female writers, a female director, right? Producers. And then there were several female yeah. producers. There was just like lots and lots there of was, Yeah, I gave it a estrogen. nine. A nine. Um, oh, nice. And a lot of ethnic looking names. I hate, to, I don't know. I yeah. Can't, I can't see pictures from Wikipedia. I don't know if you saw any from um, IMDb. Not a lot of Smiths. So. Yeah. It looks I don't know. Like I don't know. We're, we're getting out there. We're trying new things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bringing other people to the table. So, yeah, I gave it that. Um, execution. Execution of this story. I gave it an eight. Me too. I think it was pretty tight. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just Much I wanted, better than mid-90s. If anything, I wanted more, just like mom. a little, yeah, a little bit more mom stuff. But, like, all the other stuff was pretty tight, like, and it made sense, and I'm, I'm following the story. Oh, uh, and you wanted a little more uh, of a resolution. Yeah, I just, I wanted to see more. Like, is that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, yeah, the style of the movie, I gave it an 8. I really, like, I loved talking about I gave how, it they, an eight as well. how they, how they dress. The music, the music was music fun. Was really cool. The shots that we... I love skate shots. Just Beautiful like, shots. Editing was great. Yes. Yes. That rooftop. Um, performances. Cast performances. I gave an eight. I gave it a seven. Um, I can tell that there... I can tell there weren't a lot of uh, trained actors, but it was all really natural. They did really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Kurt, super charismatic. It came. It comes off the screen. I mean, they are all really charismatic, actually. Um they did really well, yeah. I, I, get, was I gave it an eight. Two. Uh, morals of the story. Um, I gave it a six. I gave it a seven. I guess kind of it kind of touches on stuff we already talked about, like you know, doing all this for a boy. But it also is really relatable. And then the the totally. message is your friends are cooler than this boy. Yeah, so I gave it a seven. So I ended pretty high with it. Friends are cooler than a boy that didn't want her back. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And they call her a hoe. Like True, that. yeah. So I gave it a six. But yeah, no. And like, the black girl, scent. girl power. <laughs> what? The black oh, scent. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, chill. I feel bad that went over my head. Chill. I didn't <laughs> I mean, so she's from New York. She probably hears that all the time. Or wait, I, don't, I think she's from New York. But um, I just, I could do without it. <laughs> um, the enjoyability. I gave it a nine. I enjoyed it. I, I gave it an eight. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. So I gave it a seventy-one. Annie gave it a seventy-two. The girls' interrupted score is seventy-one point five. This might be the new winner. Wow! This might be the new highest. How rated cool! Movie. How like cool of us, like skater. Wow. Yes, because we want to skate. So teach us. Yeah, teach I need us. to be in like a safe space in a bubble suit. Um, <laughs> a bubble and, suit, and then I can learn. <laughs> yeah. It looks fun. I just wish I, I... 
Did I tell you I'm, I'm, I'm friends with a professional skater? I, like, met him in Barcelona. He's really cool. That's so cool. He tried to, like, teach me. They always try. I, they yeah, always, they always try, try. And then it's they... It's terrible. And then, yeah, it's not... I'm not going to be cute right now. I'm... I don't do well with any... I mean, I could ride a bike, but that's, like, it. I don't do well with anything with wheels. <sighs> otherwise. Cars? Oh, Yeah. Yeah, I just, Car. I lift and bust. <laughs> it stresses me out. There's no pain like a scabbed knee. Like that's the worst. And I just no. I haven't had those in so long. You know, since I don't the playground roller blade. days. So I, I don't, don't want to go back to having ugly knees, ugly band-aidy knees. But it looks cute on you guys. It just it doesn't look cute on me. I'm talking about myself. All oh, right, ouchie. that was our movie. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Comment that was our episode, and like. Not our movie. Oh, Wait, speaking of movies, go episode. watch go watch the movie starring Annie. Uh, oh. <laughs> Tarian's, oh. Tarian's project. Our friend Tarian Hill. His project is The Boy in the Blue Dress. You can look it up on Vimeo. Annie yes. is in it. She did a great job. Tarian did a great job. The cast and crew did a great job. It did turn out really well, didn't it? Super heartwarming. He worked so hard Very, on Very, like, 90s meets, like, gay millennial. <laughs> like, 90s yeah. meets gay millennial. And, you know, I, I live. I'm really proud of T. Yes, it's so beautiful. Go watch it. Yeah. Okay. Yay, thanks, Shan. We love you guys. We love you! <laughs> Keep listening! Bye! <laughs> Thanks so much for listening to this week's episode. We'll be back next time with a new pair of movies. In the meantime, please follow, rate, review, subscribe, and share the show. Let us know how you felt about the movies. See you next time.